Here's that rototiller I showed you in a previous video that has no spark. Today I'm going to be taking off this cover, the flywheel. I'm going to sand the points and if I have spark then that's good. If not, I'm going to replace them. So first of all, you're going to need to remove the bolt right here. And there's one over here and there's one on the side of the cover over here. So all these bolts are 7 16 Now on these older engines, they have a throttle cable, so you're going to have to loosen this screw right here and just pop the cable off like that. So now the cover will just come off like that. So here's the flywheel, that's your ignition coil right here, and there's a wire from the coil that goes underneath the flywheel to the points and condenser. Next, we're going to remove these two screws, one here, one there. Once you remove these two screws, that grill is going to come off. Next, I'm going to remove the spark plug, insert a piece of nylon rope in there, just to block the engine, so that it's easier to remove the flywheel. You want to look inside, make sure your piston is all the way down, then insert the rope, as much rope as you can. Now the rope in there is going to provide a lock so that I can remove this part here. And I'm going to remove that with a pipe wrench, just like that. Make sure you don't grab on the little screw holes here, because that might break. So you want to remove this completely. Now to remove the flywheel, I've got my air hammer and a pry bar. I'm just going to insert the air hammer here and then pry up a bit at a time, not too hard, and the flywheel should come off. There we go. To the flywheel off, you have to remove these two bolts here. They're a quarter inch. Now once you remove this cover, the points and the condenser are under there. So there are the points right there and the condenser. I'm going to put this back on for now so that I can spin the motor over to see what the gap on the points are. So when I turn the motor over, the points do not even open and that's why it's not sparking. So to adjust the points, you simply loosen the condenser here with a quarter inch socket. And if you want the gap to open, you would push the condenser down a bit, like that. So I'll leave it at about 20, and see what happens. I'll turn the motor over. And you can see they're opening and closing. So I'm going to set the points at 20 on my feeler gauge. Just by putting the gauge in there and I've got them open too much. I'm gonna loosen the condenser again. And I'm just gonna push it up with the feeler gauge in between the points and the condenser. And then tighten up the bolt. So now I've got them set at 20 and when you put the gauge in, it just goes in snug. It's not too loose or too tight in there and that's perfect. Now I'm gonna turn the motor over to close the points and I'm going to sand them before I put it back together. To do that, I'm just going to push the points open and insert the paper in like that. This is a 400 grit emery paper. Try not to get your fingers on the paper so that it doesn't leave the oil on there. So insert it in like that and just go back and forth. Do this about a dozen times or so. You may have to hold the points over here so they don't come apart. So when you look at the points here, what you want to have is them clean in between. I'm just going to take a quick look to show you. Might be a bit hard to see with the sun here. 
there's a little speck on there but at least it's fairly clean and shiny and I'm gonna leave it like that I'm pretty sure we're gonna have spark now you reinstall everything just double check to make sure your gaps okay and that everything's working by turning the engine a couple of turns and everything looks good in here If you want to on this engine, when you put the cover back on, you can put some RTV silicone where the wires go out just to prevent the water from getting in there. It's especially critical if it's a horizontal engine. Before you put it back on the flywheel, make sure the keyway is good. So all you have to do now is line it up with the groove on the shaft. Now I'm going to put this back on. Don't forget there's a washer that goes there. And you can put a rope in your cylinder again to lock up the engine so you can tighten this up properly. Next, you want to make sure you put this grill back on. Next, I'll put the cover back on. So one bolt goes over here. The other one goes back here. And the third one goes at the front down here. Now your throttle cable, it's going to go back under the clip here. Make sure you put it back in the same spot. The last thing to put in is the plug. So it's all put back together. I've got fresh fuel in it and we'll do a cold start to see how it works. So it runs not too bad, at least I know the ignition problem is fixed now. But it has a bit of hesitation sometimes when you throttle up. So I assume that the carburetor here is going to need a good cleaning. So in my next video I'll be taking this apart, checking the diaphragm and checking to see if there's any dirt in there. So we'll see you then.